Hey, I'm Steve, and this is my Baltimore. Got kids? Well, we got a top-notch science center with a fart machine and probably the world's best aquarium right behind me, both in walking distance. Now, if that doesn't tire them out, try the treadmill at the hotel. The USS Constellation, it's only about 150 years old. This puppy served in the Civil War, capturing three ships during anti-slavery patrol. Talk about historical impact. Smell that? Yep, that's history. And you know that little ditty, the Star Spangled Banner? Written right out there. And Fort McHenry stopped the British invasion on Baltimore, thus making our fine country the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is what I like to call divide and conquer. You send the wife over here to do some shopping, well, you hit the power plant. Or so it was in 1942, now home to the city's largest neon guitar. They have a whole bookstore, sports arena, concert thing going on, which is kind of cool. This is the Abercrombie Badger directly across the street from the Meyerhoff, home of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Bed and breakfast, Beethoven. Bed and breakfast, Beethoven. Bed and breakfast, Beethoven. Try saying that three times real fast. So here I am at the corner of Chase and Charles at Mount Vernon, and I'm a bit torn. You could go to the Belvedere and have some brick oven pizza and a grilled Caesar salad, or head over to Brewer's Art for some exotic Belgian beers. I think I'm gonna eat first. Actually, if I hadn't torn my rotator cuff back in 85, I'd be able to throw a rock at eight of the best bars in Baltimore, right here in Fells Point. Now you could take a train down to Baltimore, spend the night, eat like a king, and see Wicked here at the historic Hippodrome Theater, all for a lot less than it would be to take a cab, eat a bagel, and then wait in line to see it on Broadway. This place has come a long way. They've dumped a ton of money into the place, but don't let it fool you. It's still the cross street market we all love. Oysters on a half shell and 32 ounce beers in plastic cups. You know, it's almost sacrilege to serve Guinness out of a plastic cup, but that's how you get it and that's how I like it. If you're a fan of museums, you'll love this American Visionary Art Museum by non-trained artists. Take a look at that sculpture. It's pretty much the kind of things you see inside. This is a pretty cool egg, mirrored ball, disco thing. Check out this view, it's gorgeous. Federal Hill Park. I proposed to my wife right here, this very spot. Actually, it was, it was more like here. She said yes. We're divorced. Now, there are some secrets I like to keep, like this restaurant here. It's so good, I don't even want to tell you the name of it. Thanks. Real cool. New York has Soho. We have Soebo. They have Chinatown. We have Greek town. They have Times Square. We have a lot less traffic. You see this? It's a quarter. And this is Hamden. Now watch this. One hour and 15 minutes. Can't get that many places. And here's a store that totally epitomizes Hamden. Shoes and chocolate, feet and food. You gotta love it. I've been able to do all my Christmas shopping in this two block radius for the last couple years. And that's great for a guy who hates shopping. This is the Golden West Cafe, home of the green chicken chili stew, or the, the green chili chicken stew. Either way you say it, it rocks. They put a mound of Fritos right on top. It's great for the stomach, probably not so great for the heart, but uh, that's why I always order two. So you're probably going to need a place to stay. I don't know that much about the hotels here because, well, I live at home. But we got the Marriott, the Holiday Inn, the Sheridan, and the Hyatt, and they're all just a steroid-enhanced home run away from Camden Yards. You can't go on a safari while you're here, but you can have a few martinis inside the Explorer's Lounge right here at the Harbor Court Hotel. You want stars? How about five of them for both accommodations and dining? You're probably asking yourself, with so much of my Baltimore being about food, how I keep my girlish figure. Thigh master. This is my Baltimore. Come make it yours.